I'm just flabbergasted. Just bloody flabbergasted. Okay, so good morning. I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Who knows? It could be freaking Saturday for all I know. Um, so today I would like to talk about the top 10 most challenged books for 2019. Um, this week, starting on the 19th till the 25th is National Library Week. During National Library Week, they always release the top 10 most challenged books from the year previously. Um, so they re released them on Monday, and I just thought we'd talk through them because I think it's very fascinating, and um, I usually end up doing something big for Band Book Week, and so, you know, I thought we'd just chat. Um, the American Library Association says that they had 377 challenges to library school and university materials, and that is uh, 566 books targeted. So we're gonna do these in order. I'll uh, put a link to the actual like article that I got this from, but we'll just sort of talk through these. Number 10 is And Tango Makes Three by Peter Parnell and Justin Richardson, illustrated by Henry Cole, was challenged and relocated for LGBTQIA plus content. You will notice that that is a very common thing most of these i think all but maybe one of them has been challenged for lgbtqia plus content so um that's exciting this book is really cute i don't know if you ever read it it's about two penguins uh two male penguins who are in i think it's the new york zoo i can't remember i'll have to look it up and they rescue an egg that was abandoned and they hatch it and it's really cute. It's based on a true story. It's a great read for your children. I would highly suggest it. Um, I know that for Band Book Week a couple years ago, they did like an online read of it. So if you can't have access to library books, a lot of us do, it'd be a great read. Um, Number nine, and this one surprised me that it ended up on the list again because it was, I think it was one of the like top 10 most challenged books of 1999 to 2009, whatever that 10 year period is. Um, it's the Harry Potter series. Yeah, a Harry Potter book hasn't been published in like what, 13 years or something like that? No longer than that. And the movies haven't, there hasn't really been, besides the Fantastic Beasts, hasn't really been any movies in a while. So I was surprised to see the Harry Potter series on the list. Um, so we all know the Harry Potter series is by J.K. Rowling. It was banned and forbidden because it discusses and refers to magic and risk, witchcraft, contains actual curses and spells, and characters use nefarious means to attain, to attain goals. Let's just sit here for a minute on the contains actual curses and spells. I don't know if you're anything like me as a Harry Potter fan, you've probably out of laziness tried Accio or Lumos or Nox and I bet nothing happened. It's probably not a great idea. God, okay. It's a really cloudy day today and so there is not much light, so I'm a little bit in shadow. Let's see if we can fix that. Uh, I think that's just going to have to do. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Um, I was really surprised to see this still on, like, on the list this year, for like, especially in the top 10. So Number eight is drama, which is written and illustrated by Rayanna Talgamir. Tal, no idea how to say that. Um, I actually read this book back in March for my graphic novel of the month. It was good. 
Um, it was challenged for LGBTQIA plus content and concerns that it goes against family and traditional morals. As I said, I've read the book. Yes, it does contain someone having a sexual identity that isn't straight. It's like a tiny little line and it's a throwaway. It being on the list, because it's it's hit the list for a couple years now. I assumed it was a little bit more like in your face. It was like, oh, I'm X. Okay, cool. Bye. Okay, whatever. Number seven is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Um, I have not read this book. I probably won't read it. I have read a snippet of it. Did not handle it well. That's fine. But that doesn't mean I'm going to not allow anyone else to read it. Just because it affected me in some negative way doesn't mean I'm no one else is allowed to read it. But I guess we should discuss why it was banned or challenged. It was banned and challenged for profanity and vulgarity and sexual overtones. Okay, sure. What else? Sure. Number six. Um, I Am Jazz by Jessica Herthel and Jazz Jennings, illustrated by Shaleg McNichols. Or is it Shaleg? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it was challenged and relocated for LGBTQIA plus content. It contains a transgender character. And it confronts a topic that they found sensitive, controversial, and politically charged. I'm just done. It doesn't get much better. The list just does not get much better. Let's just move on. Five, Prince and Knight. Daniel by Daniel Hack, illustrated by Stevie Lewis. It was challenged and restricted because it features gay marriage and LGBTQIA plus content. Um, it was deemed a deliberate attempt to indoctrinate young children and has a pen and has a potential to cause curiosity, confusion, and gender dysphoria, and a conflicting religious viewpoint. Now, we'll just sit on that one for a few minutes. I have nothing to say about it. Number four, Sex is a Funny Word, by Corey Silverberg, illustrated by Fiona Smith. Does anybody want to guess why this was banned, in, banned or challenged? It was challenged and banned and relocated for LGBTQI plus content. Good job, class. It discusses gender identity and sex education, and it concerns that the title and illustrations were inappropriate. I have not read this book, but I am adding it to my Band Book Week read TBR for this year along with the prince and the the prince and the knight and i think that's probably it oh and george which we'll talk about that's number one so you know whatever don't teach your children about sex just don't number three Honestly, I'm not surprised to see number three in this list. Um, if you are a John Oliver fan, you are not surprised to see this on this list. Uh, it's Day in the Life of Marlon Bundo by Jill Twist, illustrated by E.G. Keller. Um, it was challenged and vandalized for LGBTQIA plus content and political viewpoints. Concerns, it has... Uh, people had concerns that it's designed to pollute the morals of its readers, and it contained no content ruining. Hmm. So that's exciting. Um, ups to John Oliver for creating a book that caused such much, so much outrage. You should read it. It's really cute. 
number two. Beyond Magenta, Transgender Teens Speak Out by Susan Cucklin. Pretty easy to figure out why it was banned or challenged. You're right. LGBTQIA plus content. And its effect on any young people who read it. And it's sexually, sexually explicit and biased. I'm just gonna give you a look. Looks are just easier. Looks are always easier. Now, last but not least, number one is George by Alex Gino or Gino. I think it's Gino, but I'm not sure. I'll look it up. Um, so like a majority of this list, it was challenged or banned in LGBTQIA plus content. Uh, it contains a transgender character. It has sexual references and conflicts with a re religious viewpoint and the traditional family structure. But this is my all-time favorite reason. Schools and libraries should not put books in a child's hands that require discussion. I'm just flabbergasted, just bloody flabbergasted. Cause you know, let's not let our children learn things. No, 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 no. It's almost as good as, um, this is a passion project for me. And I think it's 1997, I'll look it up and I'll put it here. Um, a small town in Pennsylvania, question mark, look it up, put it here. Uh, challenged and removed and i think they eventually put it back into the system my teacher is an alien by that author do you want to know why do you really want to know why the main character solved a problem on her own and didn't ask for adult help Like, I try to be understanding. I understand that people are coming at things differently than I. I get that. But that doesn't mean you get to determine what my non-existent children read or your neighbor's children read or your ex-sister-in-law's brother's sister's dog's groomer's friend's aunts, daughters, sisters, children. <laughs> I don't know. I was just coming, trying to come up with something like extremely random. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Um, like I said, I'm not surprised that a majority of them are for LGBTQIA plus content. That sort of has been the standard for the last 10 years. Um, Um, yeah, that's just sort of has been the kind of the standard. I know that George and Drama have hit the list a few times and Tango Makes 3 had, had was on the list for like the last, well, it was like 2010 to 2009. I don't know, it hit the list for a long period of time and it was off for a while and it's recently come back, which is fun. So I urge you to check one of these out, uh, especially for Banned Book Week, which is uh, September 27th to October, I'm missing that, October 27th to I can't spell. My computer's just in a weird angle. Um. It's October 27th, or excuse me, September 27th to October 3rd. Um, and I think they should be releasing the top 10 soon. I'm not sure. When that does, I'll definitely do uh, 
another little thing, probably not on all of them, but just sort of a few nuggets of information there. And then we'll probably do some videos every day for the band book week. We'll just have to kind of decide that's many, many months away. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope you support your libraries any way you can. Support these authors any way you can. Um, you know, wash your hands, stay safe, go ride a bike, go read a book. <laughs>